More and more people are installing wireless networks in their homes. This is very practical, it means you can use your computer anywhere inside the house without the hassle of cables running everywhere. But the fact that it's wireless means that it's vulnerable. If it's hacked, people can use your address to download illegal content, they can use your address to send spam and release viruses in the internet, and people can even look at everything that you're sending over the internet. 22% of the British population have broadband internet and 30% of those have wireless access. So booking a holiday or doing your shopping online may seem safe and practical, but it can be very unsafe. Alex, Paul and Jess are going to try and find out how easy it is to hack into a secured wireless network. They bought some readily available software off the internet and installed it on a laptop inside their van. All they have to do now is cruise around a residential area until they pick up a good enough signal to begin the wireless hijack. How is it? Um, it's a good one. Stay, stop yeah, here. Yeah, I got three, right. four. Radio signals from wireless networks may not be very strong, but depending on where the base station is located in the house, it's sometimes possible to pick up several different networks in one spot out on the street. It's very much like watching a TV program. You basically tune into the appropriate channel, and as long as you're tuned into it, you can see what's happening. The technology is designed to be read by anything. Unless you put additional protection onto it, it's supposed to be as simple as possible to make it fast and lightweight and, and compatible. There's three in the area, but this one's got a lot going on right now. They're actually making a bet on putting a bet on yeah. that. On this street, the hustlers have managed to pick up signals from four different houses. Most homeowners don't even bother to protect themselves with a password, which is the equivalent of leaving your back door open to a hacker. This house, however, has protected itself by using a simple web security setting. But with the right software, this is still easily crackable. All it takes is a couple of minutes to decode their password settings and the hustlers are in. We've got access to his entire server, so if we want we could download information or transmit information on his bandwidth. Alex, Paul and Jess are now able to see everything this homeowner is doing on their computer. And for the next hour, they watch the victim as he sends emails, browses the web and purchases goods, all from the comfort of their van. Not only that, he's booked a hotel. Look, we actually know that he's going away on holiday and I managed to, I managed to grab outbound flight, his accommodation and the inbound flight. So we know we're going to be having an empty house as well. So we know we have an empty house. So um, it's everything that we need. Let's hit him. Print some stuff off. Great, we're done. Posing as officials from Ofcom and armed with a hidden camera and printouts of the websites the Mark has visited, Paul and Jess are about to confront the owner of this so-called safe wireless network. Hi there, are you Mr Smith? What was that, yeah. Andrew Smith? Yeah. My name's Rob Marks, I'm from Ofcom. Who? Um, Ofcom, we're the Office of Communication. Right. This is uh, Katie Summers. We have some concerns about your internet usage. Do you have a wireless router here? I do. Is this something you've been looking at in the last half hour? It Maybe bought right. grumpy old men? How about, uh, you actually got it from Amazon, I think. Yeah. And um, did you also buy Mozart's piano concertos? Indeed. Oh, eBay. Is this your eBay account? It is, but I've not used that at all recently. Yeah, but we still have access to that. And we also noticed that you booked a holiday. Are these the dates that you'll be away, Mr. Mark? You're standing on my doorstep of my I house am. telling yes. me that you've been, you know that I've booked a holiday. Uh, and I know, I know when you're going to be away. Exactly. I know exactly when your house is going to be empty. Exactly. What you should really be wondering is how dangerous this, would be, this could be. Because somebody could park themselves outside of your house, yeah. they could get access to your internet server, and from your IP addresses, they could launch an attack on the internet, send a virus out, which if it were to damage the financial institutions of this country, the police would track it back to you. How do you have you got this information then? What we've done is we've been able to get access to your network and see everything. Paul explains how he got access to what Mr. Smith thought was a secure wireless network. He used software readily available on the internet and he bought a wireless network adapter for a laptop. Within minutes, he was able to see what Mr. Smith was up to and gain valuable information. So, how does Mr. Smith feel now? With the money I've spent on some of the software, gutted to be honest, is it? I'd have to say, you know, partially stitched up and completely and utterly gutted. It's simple as that. 
when I was told about going on, you know, I'm going on holiday, um, I, I was just in disbelief. You know, the thought then that my house could be open to anyone coming in here for seven days, knowing that I'm not gonna be here from whatever day to the day I come back, but for seven days, somebody can walk in here, un you know, untroubled, around the back of the house, and well, what can I say? That really would have been something to come back to, wouldn't it? And I think everybody now, from what you've done to me, I'm trying to be nice here, but she'd be very, very concerned. Always be careful about what you send across your wireless network, and if possible, have one computer that's hardwired to the net. And when you name your network, make sure it doesn't identify exactly who you are. And finally, always use the highest level of security available to you, which in most cases will be WPA.